Welcome back, Lennies and Bunny lovers. Boy Bunny or Girl Bunny? That is the real question. It may have never crossed your mind in your quest to find the perfect bunny, because at the end of the day, neither sex is better than the other. But there are some fundamental differences that may match a little better with your lifestyle or personality. Regardless, choosing the right bunny for you is a personal choice that will extend far beyond whether they are male or female. If you enjoy learning about rabbits, please consider subscribing, hitting that little bell, and giving this video a thumbs up for unlimited bunny content. Characteristics of female rabbits In general, female rabbits tend to be very affectionate. They also have nesting sensibilities due to their natural instinct to create a safe environment for their babies. These maternal instincts also increase your rabbit's chances of getting attached to you. Bonding with your female will mean she will likely view you as part of the family. And whether your rabbit is spayed or not, they will often present themselves as the protector of the family. Because of these nesting instincts, this also means your female will be pretty resistant to any environmental changes. Female rabbits tend to be more sassy. It is in their nature to be this way because it benefits the mating selection process. The male rabbit must prove himself worthy of the female rabbit by dancing for her in high jumps during courtship. The female rabbit either agrees or doesn't agree. This attitude can also bleed into their everyday life, as female rabbits are always at risk of pregnancy. Therefore, they must be careful with who they give their hearts to. Sounds like human women should take notes. <laughs> A female can get pregnant as early as three months and copulate eight months out of the year, every year for the rest of their eight to 12 year lifespan, resulting in hundreds of babies and possibly indirectly thousands. This is why getting your rabbit fixed is so important. Female rabbits are very territorial, especially around other female rabbits. They will display dominance amongst each other. Sometimes an unspayed female can have what are known as false pregnancies. This is when the rabbit believes she is pregnant and will begin nesting even though she actually is not pregnant. They will mark their territory until they are spayed, but unlike male rabbits, they will not spray their urine. Sometimes marking their territory can also come in the way of leaving their droppings behind. Females reach maturity sooner than males, usually at about three to four months of age. Spaying your rabbit will perfect their litter habits and also prevent uterine cancer in your female. Females have a 75% chance of developing a reproductive cancer by the age of five if not spayed. So how do you know if you have a female rabbit? Lay your rabbit on their backside and part the fur between their legs. Push down on this area gently. If the rabbit is female, you will see a slit-like structure, commonly described as the letter I. Please note, laying your rabbit down this way can be stressful, and if you are still unable to identify your rabbit, ask a vet or expert to help you. You may also be able to feel your female's nipples on her chest. Characteristics of a male rabbit. In general, male rabbits are more independent. They are also more rambunctious love to play and love to get rough. In their first year, they will be more hyperactive than ever. They will need extra engagement and enrichment to ensure they are properly nurtured. This can include lots of chew toys and space to run around. While males do appear more active, they are more relaxed in character rather than intense, so potentially less complicated than females. Many owners choosing to keep a rabbit for the first time are advised to try a male, but I don't necessarily agree with that. Lennon was my first rabbit and she's a female and it's been absolutely pleasurable with her. Some male rabbits will also be bigger than their female counterparts, usually by just a couple of pounds. This is due to having more testosterone. However, the size of your rabbit will be completely dependent on their breed. 
As nature calls, if an unneutered male can sense any females nearby, whether the female is spayed or unspayed, they will try to get with them immediately. This will usually consist of aggressive behavior like chasing, mounting, or hopping around the female. Male rabbits are more likely to get into an altercation with another male rabbit, especially if unneutered. They can be quite territorial in this sense, and unwanted spraying can occur. This means that the rabbit will mark his territory by spraying urine in certain areas of your home. This behavior can also be eliminated or reduced by getting your rabbit neutered. Getting your rabbit neutered will also help prevent uterine and or testicular cancer. How do you know if you have a male rabbit? Lay your rabbit on their backside and part the fur between their legs. Push down on this area gently. If the rabbit is male, you will see a round structure, which can be described as the letter O. Male rabbits have testicles, which are visible in his groin between the back legs. Now you've probably noticed a big theme in this video is spaying and neutering. Will spaying or neutering ultimately change your rabbit's personality? Not entirely. In a way, it will make your rabbit, male or female, a little less aggressive and territorial. But your rabbit's spirit will pretty much stay the same. Spays typically cost a little bit more because it is more of an invasive surgery than that of a neuter. However, there are many ways to save on getting your rabbit fixed. Just contact your local rabbit rescue or humane society for referrals on low cost spays and neuters. And be sure to always go to a rabbit savvy vet. So you're also probably wondering, should you get a female rabbit or a male rabbit? There is no right or wrong answer when it comes to choosing your rabbit. But one of the most recommended scenarios is why not both? The best bonded pairs come in a male and female combination. Rabbits love to be in love and they are social animals. Just remember, when you introduce a rabbit of the opposite sex, both bunnies must be in a neutral territory and both must be fixed. This will facilitate the bonding process from becoming territorial. Your other option is to adopt two bunnies that have already been bonded and fixed through a rabbit rescue or animal shelter. This will save you lots of time, stress, and money in the end. To conclude, female rabbits may be a bit more affectionate, maternal, and sassy, while males tend to be more rambunctious and friendly. But at the end of the day, your rabbit's attitude and personality is mostly going to be contingent on the environment they are raised in. If they are raised in a loving home with lots of space and attention, your rabbit, male or female, will be very agreeable and loving in return. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up because it helps others discover our content. And our question of the day is, do you have a boy or girl bunny or both? Comment below.